And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. I come to the garden. Welcome to your Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers, bringing you inspiration and education to strengthen your devotional life. The Son of God discloses and He walks with me and He talks with me. Gracious Father, this morning again we seek your face for the guidance and leading of your Holy Spirit as we reflect upon your words. Give us wisdom that will nurture us and our spiritual lives for today, we pray in Jesus' name. Our devotional topic this morning is, A Devotional Life is About Relationship. The greatest motivation for having a consistent devotional life is relationship. Relationship with God. If we attempt to practice Bible reading and prayer without an understanding of the true purpose behind such a practice, we are bound to get discouraged and to give up. Bible reading will become monotonous and prayers will be a mere routine. However, when we take the approach of seeking and building a relationship with Jesus, then we understand that a good devotional life is made up of the ingredients that make for a good relationship. According to Morris Venden in his book, 95 Thesis on Righteousness by Faith, there are six ingredients for establishing a good relationship with Christ. First of all, it takes time. No relationship happens in an instant. A good relationship will take time to build. Therefore, we need every day to invest time in our relationship with God. And we also need to be patient as a relationship develops. We should not get worried or frustrated if things are a little awkward at the beginning, Jesus gave many illustrations to make this point clear. He said in Mark chapter 4 verse 26 and 27, So is the kingdom of God, and if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and arise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. Secondly, a relationship needs intimacy to grow. It needs one-on-one -on -one moments each day. This is true for marriage, friendships, and family. And it's also true for relationship with God. I guess that is why no matter how busy he was, Jesus found time to be alone with his father. So he teaches us, when you pray, enter into your closet. And when you have shut thy door, pray to your father which is in secret. And your father which sit in secret shall reward you openly. St. Matthew 6 verse 6. A relationship needs priority. God must get top priority in our lives. And one way to do this is to give him the first hours of the day. Number four, motive. Our motive should be to seek Jesus. A devotional life should not be focused on merely gaining more Bible knowledge, but to know more about a person, and that person is Jesus. And finally, a relationship with God will grow through his word and prayer. These are the channels of communication. We get to know Jesus through his word and by sharing with him through prayer. Talking and listening are the basic elements of communication. Therefore, studying God's word is simply listening to his voice. And prayer is simply sharing and talking to him about our problems. If we implement these strategies and keep in mind that a devotional life is about building a relationship, then it will help to overcome the monotony and the boredom that may appear at times as we continue these practices. Our quotable quote this morning is taken from Steps to Christ, page 93. Prayer is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend. Not that it is necessary in order to make known to God what we are, but in order to enable us to receive him. Prayer does not bring God down to us, but brings us up to him. <music> Thank you. 
In our prayer focus this morning, we continue to focus on Jamaica. We are asking God for spiritual revival and for deliverance from the crime situation. Gracious Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the opportunity we have to call upon your name. We present before you at this time our own lives that you may lead us, O oh Father, to a deeper relationship with you. Help us, O oh God, to have daily conversation with you through prayer and Bible study. We turn our minds, O oh Father, to our country, Jamaica, and we are asking for a spiritual revival because we believe, Heavenly Father, that it is because we have turned away from you why there is so much crime and violence in our society. We are asking you, Lord, to turn back the people's heart to you, O God, and grant a spiritual revival among us. Help us to recognize the value of respect and kindness and compassion towards each other. Heal our family lives. Heal the hearts of the children and the fathers towards their children. And grant, O God, your blessing upon this country, Jamaica. We pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Join us next time for Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers 